Hey everybody, today is Saturday, the uh, 18th of June, 2011. Let's take a look at this market. Uh, you know, for the week, the S&P 500 was down about a half a percent, so it wasn't really as bad as it has been. Uh, and we're starting to try to find some stability above this 200-day moving average, but it just uh, simply cannot be trusted. We have uh, very choppy action from day to day, and um, we're you know we're in an important level where we're you know, we would expect maybe a bounce to to a merge from but uh, just turning neutral isn't good enough to buy we want to see some upward momentum we still have that downward uh, five-day moving average Friday we had uh, really pretty choppy action once again so uh, the market just is really not giving us any compelling reasons to to get actively involved right now it's more of a game of defense and uh, making sure you don't get chopped up in all this uh, volatility some important levels for next week, I think, you know, right around in here, it looks like uh, pretty obvious, which would be basically 128 up to about 128 and a quarter. Um, getting up through that level and holding above it for, you know, half hour or more, we would, you know, begin to, to think maybe we could see a little bit more of a bounce. But when we back up these time frames, you know, again, we have uh, other levels just above, too. We've got that 128.50. And, of course, the biggest level here in the uh, that's going to be looked at as a, a, a place for resistance, most likely, is this 130 area. So it's not convincing still, though, that we're, that we're done going down. We've uh, uh, still got the potential for more selling. There's a lot of uh, problems worldwide. And... Um, We'll, you know, we'll have to see how it goes, but I think the best bet is to continue to just uh, you know, treat it with kid gloves. Don't, don't try to be uh, making big bets in this environment because you're, you're most likely going to be chopped up. The NASDAQ was down uh, for the week uh, 29 cents or about a half a percent. It did close below that 200-day moving average, which when you look at some of the bigger components, you look at you know Apple finally... Uh, I shouldn't say finally, as a, it's not a victorious thing, but you know it it finally broke uh, its 200-day moving average. It's been above the 200-day moving average here, uh, really since about uh, um, March of uh, 2009. So just a huge uptrend in Apple. It's in, it doesn't look like it's uh, in jeopardy of a major rollover, but you know we we've seen the average price uh, not move for 200 days basically, and um, it's not the big uh, momentum uh, name, obviously, that it once was. It's it's really turned more neutral. But uh, a, a little bit further downside wouldn't surprise me in Apple, but uh, it also wouldn't surprise me to see a, a big shake, uh, a big bounce from that 200-day moving average, uh, you know, in that general area. So um, you know, Apple. We got Google that looks, uh, you know, looks terrible too. Uh, Google. Let me uh, just type that in. Um, breaking down further and. Um, just not, uh, you know, not the types of thing you want to see. That we've got uh, a lot of tech stocks uh, breaking down hard. Autodesk, of course, you got Research in Motion, which is just a disaster for the longs. Uh, a lot of people have been negative on that stock, and correctly so. It's just uh, getting annihilated. Anyways, back to the Nasdaq. Um, we've got it below the 200-day moving average right now. We've got it uh, also below that uh, uh, March low. So we've got. Um, you know, this was supposed to be the area where maybe we could see a flush out and and then a bounce higher. It still still does look like we could potentially see some support in here. This is, um, I, I think we still have to be on on alert that uh, because it was prior resistance which became support, it could once again in here and maybe we get a bounce. But it's just very difficult to trust any uh, emerging rallies. Uh, 54.50 is our first. Uh, more significant level of potential resistance, um, and again, it's just tough to uh, trust any emerging uh, rally attempts. But uh, if you are a nimble trader and you can get in for uh, a day trade to start with, maybe you you hold partial overnight if the market is giving you a good um, uh, outcome with with your initial uh, purchase, but you don't want to be looking to buy big pieces and hold on. It seems like a uh, a good way to, uh, you know, that, that hey, it should be due for a good couple day bounce. But uh, it, it's just a real risky strategy uh, strategy to uh, try to pick those turns. And and uh, the turn obviously has been elusive so far, and it's causing a lot of pain for a lot of people in here. Uh, we want to be aware of potential. Uh, important re uh, levels for 
um, for with technical analysis. And I mean, if this doesn't just stand out like a sore thumb at this uh, seventy-seven dollar level uh, in in the Russell two thousand with uh, the prior. Uh, importance that that it's had in there, and now that it is the 200-day moving average, and we basically touched the 200-day moving average and bounced a little bit the other day. But uh, uh, for the week, the Russell was up two pennies, so we're just kind of churning here, and it it could be setting up, you know, similar to this bounce at the 50 uh, or this bounce at the 100 where we spent some days in there and what would it take to get it to move higher it really uh, is going to need to clear this bigger level of resistance at $79.70 we've got an obvious level just above that at 79 so in order for this market to make steps we want to see it you know, rally up make a higher high above this 79 level maybe rally up towards 79.70 pull back make a higher or low and then go that's a possible scenario for how it could rally but again the path of least resistance is still lower we've got a declining five-day moving average it can't be trusted on the long side but we want to look for the potential of a bounce the semiconductors have really gotten uh, destroyed for the month are down 9.9 percent this week 2.3 percent and this was the group that really led us higher they've, they've taken out those March lows they've taken out the 200 day moving average and they're showing no sign at all of stability you would think this would be an area where they begin to to find some support we have this uh, you know range right in here from back in um, late last year or earlier this year we had a, 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 a sharp uh, pullback to, and this level was tested at bounce here's another sharp pullback but so far you know we're trading right down near the lows with that declining five-day moving average and uh, just very very difficult to trust I, I you know I look at these semiconductors and I can't even see what it would where it would make sense to buy it they've gotten really choppy maybe we've got uh, uh, 32 80 ish area that uh, looks important but uh, just just a, a disaster the financials uh, actually firmed up a little bit up a half a percent this week but uh, nothing bullish at all about it obviously we're still in a downtrend best best case you could say is it's it's beginning to accumulate but uh, really with a declining 10 20 and 50 day moving average there's really no evidence on the daily chart that the buyers are really stepping in the 30 minute time frame we had a break past that $15 level midweek it failed down through there and uh, we're just seeing some choppy action and I think that's what we're going to see in these markets uh, for for a little bit, the uh, retailers are trying to hold on to that 200-day moving average um, after breaking the 50, 100, 150, and and you know the 200. But uh, there's there's really nothing bullish going on here either. Best case you could say is it's starting to turn neutral and maybe getting above about 106.70 that uh, we could see uh, a rally ba uh, back up towards 109-ish. This, this group is, is sold off real hard, obviously, and um, you know now we're getting this uh, little bit of higher lows in here. So maybe above the uh, 107, 10, uh, uh, 106.70, 106.80, maybe above that level it could. Uh, bring about a little bit of strength here um, but difficult to trust when you have such a strong downtrend and I think that's really the the theme going forward for next week is let's see if we can begin to heal this market a little bit first maybe one by one a couple of stocks are going to start to look better I've been looking at stocks this morning I'm not seeing uh, a lot of uh, bullish setups it's really uh, the, the exception where you're going to find a, a good uh, bullish setup so um, we, we have to keep it slow let this market heal and uh, whether just let us let the market tell us whether it's it's resting for a recovery or if it's resting before its next leg lower. Hope everyone has a good weekend and happy Father's Day.